All right, let's see how it works tonight. Tonight, we're using Mr. Infinity. And I'll show you the differences between Mr. Infinity. Now, Rick, you was talking about my finger position when I hold it like this. And it gives it a little rocking motion. And some people put their finger over like this so they can just rock it back and forth, which is fine when you have space between the cup and the trigger. On my Micron, I don't have much space, so that's how come I use the tip of my finger like this. Anyway, this is my Infinity. I just put a brand new uh, 2.0 setup in it from the .15 because the .15 nozzle, the last one I bought, cracked with no paint in it and just barely sliding the needle in it. It cracked. So I've given up on the 1.5s because I went through eight last year. And to me, that's eight too many. So I'm going to try this 2.0. I tested it out after I got it all set up today. I'm using Golden High Flow Sepia. And we're going to try it straight out of the bottle. So I'll put a little couple of three drops in there. My compressor is set at about 20 pounds. And it seems like it uh, sprays pretty good up there. So we will give this a go. And I'll try to keep my shoulders and my big head and everything else out of the way. <clears throat> this is um, actually a picture from uh, in Crazy Aussies over at uh, Airbrush Asylum. He uh, did a painting of this on his uh, YouTube channel and I thought I wanted to give it a try so uh, let's see where we go with it. As you can see, and what most people complain about on, on the trigger pull is right there on a micron you have paint. So you have to keep pulling back a little bit further because there is a delay on it. And if you don't get the delay just right, you can uh, overshoot your target. I want to see how grainy this looks on here. To see if it needs reduction. But right now, it is spraying out of a .2 tip. Which it should, since it sprays out of the micron with no problem and it's Basically, I'm just playing around a little bit tonight to show you the difference in airbrushes. And see, like I said, you can finger pull it like this. Some people find it a little bit more relaxing. I find the control of it like this is a little bit more daunting, so to speak. As you can see, that blowout right there I just made. But that's okay because it's only paint. See, and I'm just playing around tonight. This ain't nothing special. It's just to show you guys the use of uh, infinity.
And like I said, so far this is just straight CPU. <clears throat> 25 PSI. Uh, ain't really getting a lot of tip dry on it. But as you can see, when you want paint, sometimes you don't get it. When you don't want paint, sometimes you get it. And that's okay, I can work that into some background if I need to. Like I said, tonight I'm just kind of playing around some. Give that a little texture here in a minute. And as soon as I find what the heck I'm looking for. Y'all know me, I gotta look for every damn thing because I misplace it all the time. Let's see. Usually it usually ain't right there in front of me. There's one I was playing with. There it is. That's what I'm looking for. <clears throat> I knew I'd find it eventually. As you can see what I mean on turning it into some background. Yeah, we just turn it into some background. Not a big deal. Find out which kind of thing I want to put where. And hopefully I'm not blocking the view of anybody. If I am, I do apologize. And this way you can start getting your shadows and stuff laid in.
just kind of laying in a wing. Hopefully you guys can see this. But basically on this infinity, I'm just keep pulling back a little bit until I get paint to flow out. <coughs> I might try a little reduction here in a minute, but see if that might help some. I think I will. Just see if it makes a difference. Man, I only put a couple of drops in. I'm just going to put two drops in. See if it makes it flow any easier. And it's still not responsive with the heat. It really didn't change how it sprays. And I'm hoping you guys can still see this. Because I am trying to stay out of y'all's way. Just trying to give it some character. Now I'm gonna flip it this way so I can get this <coughs> side of the wing. I'm throwing everything around now. I lost what little reference picture I had of the damn thing. 
Let's see. Where'd he go? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Alright. Yeah, this thing looks here. Like I'm just having fun piddling tonight.
Like I said, I'm just having fun playing, fiddling. You see, I'm just piddling and piddling and piddling. Because it's just fun to piddle. Yeah, I'm gonna do about another minute or two. Then I'll uh, call it quits for tonight. And go post this little video so you guys can see the aggravation that is 
infinity. And I know Jerry likes these, but he hasn't uh, got to be abused by them as much. Like I said, this is something I'm playing around with, just to show you why you can get super fine lines with an infinity. You have to fight with it to get it. <coughs> At least I do. So, anyway, that's what I'm going to stop out for tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, that's just the Infinity with uh, Golden High Flow Sepia. <laughs>